Hi, this is a very, very quick tutorial. I've had a few questions from students asking about how you combine uh, sets of data to make means and standard deviations and then plot them in Excel. Um, unfortunately, as undergraduates, unless you've got money to spend on specialist graph drawing software, you're kind of stuck using Excel uh, to do your graphs. Um, so I've shown in a previous tutorial how to make an Excel graph look like something that you'd accept for publication. So here is a quick um, example of how to get data um, in the right format. So here we've got four groups and we've got repetitions A, B, C and D. So I'm just going to enter some random random data. I don't know what these data mean. They're just uh, uh, it's too high. Uh, so let's make some random numbers. Uh, 8, 6, 4 and 5. Uh, let's do big numbers. And let's do some uh, even bigger numbers. So it's just four random numbers, no decimal places, doesn't really matter for this one, I'm just demonstrating, we'll just put them over to the left, just demonstrating how to do this. We want to calculate the mean, which is the equation average, and then highlight the cells you want to select as your mean, and that makes 14.5. Uh, if you click on that number, then drag this little box, you can then duplicate them down to show the averages of all the other sets. Uh, we can then do standard deviation using the formula stdev, oops, missed that, stdev, and then highlight your numbers again and we can do the same with this, we can click on that drag it down. Um, I would probably set this to have two decimal places and I would probably set these to have uh, two decimal places just for the sake of it although of course our accuracy here is indeterminate because we don't know how many decimal places we've got but simply for the for the view on the screen this makes life easy for me uh, we want to know what our n number is, so this is easy enough, you just go equals count and then highlight the number you've got there and it should be four and we can highlight them down so we've got four for instance this number we may only have three you can see it's changed the mean the standard deviation also changed our n number so having it like this i'm just going to format them having it like this actually helps when you're doing a write-up to remember how many n numbers you've got so i'm going to make them bold and make them italic just so i know what the mean and standard deviation is so we need to plot a graph now showing groups one two three and four with their mean numbers so we select groups 1, 2, 3 and 4, press the control key on the keyboard and press highlight these other, doc, uh, other cells here. So we've got the groups and the means. Uh, we can then go to the insert. This is Office 2010, but I'm just inserting a graph. Um, it should hopefully insert it on the screen. My computer's busy doing lots of stuff in the background. There we are. So there we are, we have our graph, move that down a bit, we've now got group 1, group 2, group 3, group 4, and our means are 14.5, 6, 22.25, and 33. Let's just delete that, because that's irritating. Um, let's delete them, because they're rather annoying as well. And just for the sake of it, I'm going to make all of these um, a nice black colour, um, because I prefer to have black bars, they seem to look nicer. So there we are, there's our black bars. We want to have error bars on these. Um, uh, as well as a few other formatting things that we saw in the other tutorial. So how do you do error bars? Click on your graph and in the layout page of the chart tools menu you've got the drop down box error bars. So we click on error bars and go more. We don't want none. We don't want standard error of all the data set. We want standard error of the individual, standard deviation of the individual data sets. So I'm going to choose more error bars and down here it allows you to choose error bars that you you have uh, decided the custom ones so I'm going to go specify value and I'm just going to highlight for the positive the standard deviations and for the negative the same standard deviations so it's going to be positive or negative these it is important that you put these in the same order as you selected your data so those of you who like using the control button you can obviously delete everything that's in this box and if you want to use a control button you press the first one second one, third one and fourth and you can see they're individually selected but you need to select them in the right order um, so I'll do the same with this one as well just delete all this and I'll go control click 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 and click and then I've highlighted those four press OK press close and now you can see we've got error bars on our graphs that stick up and if I change this back to grey, I don't, I don't like grey but I'll change it back anyway for visualization we've now got error bars going up and down and you can see if I change this number in particular to a silly high number the error bar of only group 2 changes uh, if I change this back to uh, a smaller number again you can see it goes back to as it should be um, 
There are of course other formatting problems with this graph. The ticks, for instance, are in the wrong place, but that's for, for you to sort out later. But that's as quick as you can show uh, how to do a bar graph showing uh, standard deviation bars. Of course you could change this equation to standard error of the mean, and you could adjust this formula to be standard deviation divided by the square root of n minus 1, which in this case is that minus 1, close brackets. And now we've got standard error bars, and we've now reformatted this as standard error. And there we go.